Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Ansit Dudeja. I am working at SD5 at Adobe and today I present day 12th of February Lead Code Challenge. The problem that we have in today's minimum fuel cost to report to capital. This question is a medium level question on lead code and I totally feel the same. The concept that we will use to solve today's question is graph and to be precise we will be using DFS graph traversal. This is not a very complicated question of graph. I totally agree that this question falls in an easy to medium category of graph. So without further ado, let's quickly try and understand the question why the presentation and there will be walk through this example as well as the algorithm to go about it. So without further ado, let's get started. Lead code 2477 minimum fuel cost to report to capital. As I already told, this is a medium level question on lead code. And in case if you have any doubt understanding this problem up, or if you want to ask anything from me in general with respect to job opportunities, placement, internships, referrals, please feel free to drop a message on the Telegram group of Coding Decoded. We have a community of more than 2000 developers working at all top notches, and we regularly discuss problems that we face in day-to-day -day activity. We discuss things regarding BARD, chat, GTP, and whatnot. Looking forward to seeing all of you there. As per the question, you are given a well-connected graph of n cities. At each city, you presently have only one passenger and you need to make sure that these passengers travel to the final destination city, which in this case happens to be the 0th city. What do you need to identify? You need to count the total number of petrol needed to make this travel success such that all the passengers finally land at the 0th city. How will they would be commuting? They will be commuting by cars. And in the question, you're also told the total seat capacity of the car. That means at max in one single trip, you can carry only two passengers. If there are more passengers at any particular city, multiple trips will be taking place. And let's divide this problem into a sub problem. And then we will look at this entire example. But if I ask you guys, Let's consider a hypothetical scenario wherein the zeroth city has three child. That means it is connected with three children, one, two, and three. At the first city, you have three passengers. At the second city, you have two passengers. At the third city, you have four passengers. If I ask you the total number of petrol needed to make, to make sure that all these passengers finally travel to the zeroth city, what the answer would be? So let's try and calculate it. You have three passengers at city one. That means two trips will be needed to make sure that these passengers are carried to the zeroth city. And how will you derive it? So three by two, seal value of three by two. So let's write seal of three by two, because in one single trip, two passengers would be taken and you need to take another trip for the, the third one. And the answer turns out to be two. So true trips are needed for this. 2 divided by 2 gives you 1, that means 1 trip is needed for this. 4 divided by 2 gives you 2, that means 2 trips would be needed in order to carry these 4 passengers onto the 0th city using this car configuration. So in total, how many trips have occurred? 2 plus 2 plus 1, 5. That means 5 trips would be needed and the petrol cost for 1 trip happens to be 1 litre. Therefore, we can say 5 litres of petrol would be needed. If we have understood this much, then you have understood the problem. Why I am saying this? Let's get back to the original example. Moving on, let's calculate the total liters of petrol or the total number of trips needed such that all these passengers reach to the zero city. So let's get started from this particular node, which is the leaf node. And here, this passenger would be traveling to the third city. This will cost him one road trip. So we have a car and one passenger would be traveling in it. So let's draw a car over here. The cost gets updated to one because we have consumed one liter of petrol for this particular trip. What happens next? We can see that now at the third city, we have two passengers. We'll make sure that these two passengers would travel to the first city and it will again cost one liter of petrol because these two passengers can travel in the same car. What happens at the first city since two more passengers got added, the total number of passengers at the first city gets updated to three. Now, how much cost would it be to make sure that these three passengers reach the zero city? Remember, total number of passengers by two, the number of seats that we have, seal value of it. 
so it will cost two more trips so let's write 2 plus 2 as 4 now what happens at the 0th index all the four passengers in this particular route have reached the 0th city so we have four passengers at the 0th city now let's go ahead and repeat the same thing for rest of the paths or rest of the ch children of zero we did it for the first child now we will do it for the fourth and the fifth one so fifth one is easier only one passenger is there so it can travel in a single car and let's update it over here it will cost one liter of petrol so this gets updated to five and now let's consider this particular case where passengers would be traveling from city 4 so let's get to the leaf node first we will always start from the leaf node and from city 6 one passenger would be traveling to city 4 it will cost one trip so this gets updated to 6 and since there are two passengers at city 4 we will make sure that these two passengers travel by the same car so total number of passengers divided by 2 gives you 1 and that means 1 litre of petrol would be needed and the answer gets updated to 7 and what we what we will observe we will observe that all the passengers have finally reached the destination city which is 0 the answer variable comes as 7 and this is what we were expecting now comes the question how can you algorithmize this up if you are able to identify the total number of passengers that would be there in each city then your problem is solved you can simply apply this formula passenger count divided by total seat count the seal value of it and you can add those values up and that would give you the result why i am saying this let's try and have a look at it so the total number of passengers at city 6 happens to be 1 so let's write 1 over here the total number of passengers at city 4 happens to be 2 let's write 2 over here and let's write 1 over here at city 5 we have only one passenger at city 3 at city 1 we have three passengers at city 3 we have only two passengers at city 2 we have only one passenger and for each node what we will be doing we will be applying this formula up and finding out the result so let's get started and we will go path by path that means we will first calculate for this path then we will calculate for this path and then we will calculate for this path so 1 divided by 2 seal value of 1 divided by 2 gives you 1 so the answer gets updated to 1 plus seal value of 2 divided by 2 gives you 1 seal divided by seal value of 3 divided by 2 gives you 2 with this we have successfully iterated over this particular path now let's go for this path seal value of 1 divided by 2 gives you 1 this is this path is also done let's walk through the remaining path seal value of 1 divided by 1 1 divided by 2 gives you 1 seal value of 2 divided by 2 gives you 1 and what these sum up to 1 plus 1 is 2 2 plus 2 is 4 4 plus 1 is 5 5 plus 1 is 6 6 plus 1 is 7 so the answer turns out to be 7 calculating the total number of passengers at each city is really simple and can be easily done using the DFS approach we have already solved plenty of questions on the DFS technique. If you are new to Coding Decoded, then what do you need to do? You need to check out Coding Decoding SD Preparation Sheet. If you have an important interview planned very soon and you need to master important concept of graphs, do check this out. Here I have divided the question on the basis of easy, medium and hard category and you will get video solutions for each problem. I have also specified the underlying concept DFS, BFS, the Jigstra, Topo Sort, Spanning Tree, Union Find. So these questions are must do before any important interview if you want to master graphs. Now let's get back to the problem. These links are provided in the description so do check them out. And the followers of Coding Decoded would see that I am not doing anything fancy. The same things that I do in the DFS problem, in all the DFS problems. So here I have created two variables, the fuel count that will actually store the answer and the other one is the seats. The total number of seats uh, uh, each car can have specified in the question. So here from line number 7 to line number 17 I have built in my graph. So it will be a bi-directional graph that means from source A to B there exists a path and from B to A there also exists a path as per the question. 
Now let's have a look at the rest of the algorithm. I've initialized this dot seeds with seeds. I've iterated over my DFS and once the iteration is done, I simply return the fuel value. The problem lies in writing this DFS method appropriately. So it's really simple. It accepts graph. It accepts the current city that you are currently at. It accepts the previous city that you came from. I've initialized the people variable to one because as per the question, one person is already there in each city. What do we do? We iterate to all the connections of any particular city. That means the next city. And in case the next city happens to be equal to the previous city, that means it's a cycle. You're going through the cycle. You need to avoid it. So in those cases, you simply continue. Otherwise you update the people variable with people plus DFS of graph, the next city and the current city becomes the previous city. Typical way of writing the DFS reversal. And in case, the current city is not your destination city. It's not equal to zero. What do you do? You apply the formula that I've talked in the presentation, seal value of people by this dot city. And once you are done with this algorithm, you simply return the people value out. So this will in the end finally tell you the total number of people present in the zero city. With this, we have successfully iterated over the algorithm and we have submitted it up. The time complexity of this approach is order of n because you are traversing for uh, you traversing each city only once and the space complexity is again order of n for building the adjacency matrix with this let's wrap up today's session i hope you thoroughly enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel your subscription really means a lot to me i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye take care